when I was younger, my dad was quite a role model to me. He's really into science. But throughout high school, I didn't really take that much of an interest in it. But as soon as I got to A-level, my chemistry teacher showed us quite a lot of fun experiments that made me wonder, oh, maybe this is something that I'm quite interested in. And she talked about what life would be like at university, being able to collaborate with other people and work on different projects, which made me curious. University was great. I did four years and in my third year I got to go to the University of Florida and do my third year out there and it was an amazing experience. I'm just at the beginning of my PhD but I'm really enjoying it. I'm at the University of Leicester. I'm studying batteries from electric vehicles and how we can recycle them. Working as part of a really big team to solve real world problems and knowing that my research could have an impact on society today. The thing that excites me the most about my research is probably the variety. So I can spend one day in the chemistry lab, another day in engineering, there's lots of training opportunities. Petrol and diesel cars contribute to a lot of pollution emitting toxic gases, which leads to climate change and global warming. And the key to this problem is electrification of transport. So in 2017, there were around three million electric vehicles and by 2030 it's estimated there's going to be 125 million. And at the moment we don't have the facilities to recycle them, so they either go into storage or in a landfill, which is really bad. We need to be able to reuse these materials and, and get as much out of them as we can at the end of life so that we don't end up contributing to a bigger problem with pollution. Ideally we'd want to have a closed loop recycling scheme, so anything that comes from electric vehicles can be recycled and put straight back into the electric vehicle market. So we have a lot of scientists coming together through the Faraday Institution to build those next generation batteries and a recycling facility within the UK. There's a lot of work to be done in the battery industry. And if you're remotely interested in the energy sector, I'd say go for it because it is a growing field and we need as many people as we can get. And who knows, the next generation could be the answer to the problems that we're facing today.